So what we're doing is we're fixing to take our pups that we've been training with a goat uh, out and put them with the billies. We had a question on our uh, on the channel about how we did our our, our pups. Right there. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, can you get in there? Oh, good girl. Good girl. She remembers. Well, we're down here going to see if we can get the billies in a trap up here. And Betsy, I guess, has decided that she needs to guard the Mashona bulls along with the billies. The billies are right here close. Uh, but it's funny how she's hanging out down here. <laughs> she's hanging over here with the bulls. Of course, they don't mind her being here. Uh, they just think that she's part of the family. Where's your goats? Huh? Where's your goats? There they are. That's why we're down here. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Betsy. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. We were going to lead them with the bucket in the corn, but it may be easier to just kind of drive them because they're not, you know, they're not real excited about coming to the corn. They've got plenty of feed. So we'll just drive them here for a minute and see how that works. Betsy would get out of the way, it'd be a lot easier. trouble getting the goats in the pen, the billies, but we got them in the trap, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and pick up the other billy and one of the dogs that we've been training, and we'll bring them over here and join them here. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble getting Betsy in here. She kept wanting to go out, so we've got the feeder in here for her. We've got it set up. Mary, who is coming, knows how to use that feeder, so everything should be good as long as everybody gets along. So we're going to run back and get them real quick and bring them down. So what we're doing is we're fixing to take our pups that we've been training with a goat uh, out and put them with the billies. We had a question on our uh, on the channel about how we did our, our, our pups. And basically what we do is we just get a little bit bigger pen than a, than a kennel. It's probably about a, a 15 by 20 or so. And we put you know two dogs with one goat, two dogs with two goats, one dog with two goats, just as long as there's goats and dogs, we do that. And we'll keep them in there really until we feel comfortable with kind of letting them out. Uh, it's a significant amount of time. Depending on the disposition of the dog, that will kind of determine about how long we put them in with the goats and keep them in a smaller area. And if whenever we first turn them out, if we're going to take them out to a larger area with the big herd, which we're going to do that with one of these, or if we're going to take take it to a smaller area where we have the billies in about a seven acre trap with Betsy. 
and that's what we're fixing to do right now with the dog that we think best fits that scenario. So that's how we're going to do it and that's kind of how we do our dogs. Then at that point, we just kind of monitor how they're working and make adjustments accordingly. Now I'm going to tell you, we are not experts at that. It's worked well for us so far, but there is a site on Facebook or I don't even know what that's called. There's a Facebook channel or something, but I'll leave a link for that in our description. The guy's name is Bill Costanzo and he's with the Texas A&M Agra Research Center down in uh, San Angelo, Texas. And they basically do uh, research on large guard dogs. And they've done lots of research with respect to how to start them and how to introduce them into the stock. So I would advise you to uh, look at his site He'll have a YouTube channel, or the Texas A&M will also, where they've done some of their research and they'll talk about how they started their pups, and they really know what they're doing. Uh, so I'm going to advise you to really look at that. This is how we do ours, and it works fine, but those guys I would consider experts. I'm feeling lucky now. I caught that one cow on at least the seventh or eighth try. Come here, sweetie. Man, I don't know if she'll fit in that thing, Lisa. Is that a big one? That's the biggest one we I, have. I might have to have a <laughs> This is not going to be good. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, Mary. That's a girl. Come here, Mary. Come here. That's a girl. That's a good girl. Can I lift you? You going to bite me? Oh, what a big girl. Oh, what a big girl. Oh, what a big girl. That's a good girl right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, can you get in there? Oh, good girl. Good girl. She remembers. She remembers. Good girl, Mary. Good girl. Okay, Willie. Wayman and Willie and the boys. Hey, hey, I put I took, put Willie the Billy on a cable out in the yard and let him do a little bit of weed eating for Lisa. Um, and it just it helps a little bit and it helps him and it's helped tame him down a little bit you can see I've got a collar on him I'll probably take that off uh, when we get over there but anyway so I'm gonna he's gonna go with Mary and then we will get everybody situated you ready you ready to go I'm gonna have to take your collar or your uh, I have to take your tether off here I'm a little nervous about that without a rope come on come on come on come on Can you get in there? Can you load up? Hey, come here. Can you load up for me? You know he can jump up there. Come on. Yeah, it's okay, bud. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, he's big. Oh, my gosh. He's bigger than hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let uh, Mary out first with uh, Betsy because Mary is a, uh, she's a different kind of dog. She's a little more high strung. She's a hundred percent Ogbosh and uh, none of our dogs are a hundred percent. They all have some in them, but she's never been around uh, close to another dog other than Indy, her, her sister. So we're gonna we're gonna put her on this long rope that we can maybe help control her a little bit and let her introduce herself to Betsy. Hey girl, come on. Come on now. Come on. I'm gonna put this long rope on you. If she wants to come out. Come on. Come on, that's a girl. Can I put this one on? Come on. <laughs> come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. Come on. I say I'm going to. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to stick my head in there and get the rope on her. Lisa, would you like to volunteer? I can try. I don't think I'll let you. <laughs> oh, that's a girl. That's a girl. Oh. Let's see if she can get in there. Come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. 
said, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. She's super aggressive. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Mary. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. That a girl. That's a girl. That's a girl. Good girl, Mary. Good girl, Betsy. Good girl. Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna take her over there and let her see the feed. Come here, Mary. Mary, come here. Mary. Mary. Mary, come here. Mary. Come here. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Look there. There's a feeder. Oh, good girl. Let's let the goat out now. I think she's going to be fine. Come here, Mary. Mary. Come here, Betsy. I'm going to let Willie out. Oh, come here, Mary. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Come on. Come on, Come on Willie. Come on, Willie. Come on, girl. Come here, Mary. Okay. Right. We like for our dogs to defend their food against the goats. Uh, that's a good thing. We don't want the goats eating the food, so we prefer that the dogs defend it like that. Now, obviously, we don't want them to get physical with the, the goats and hurt them, but they need to do enough to keep them off of it. So that's what she's doing. Good girl.
Well, it's the next day after putting Mary out with the billies. And so we're still trying to locate, you know, the, the goats have been split. The main herd has been split over here because of the last storm. And I'm going to go down and check on Mary here directly. But I needed to come over and find uh, Blue, really, because I needed to change the batteries in his collar before this next rainstorm hits. In case you can't tell, the weather is changing here. I've got my, my heavy vest back on, and it is high 40s, low 50s, and in the bottoms it may be mid 40s. So that's kind of severe for southern Oklahoma, but we've got another, they're saying three to five inches coming. And so yesterday I talked just a little bit about not wanting to put the other pup, which we call her Indy, not wanting to put Indy out with all the goats split and in this large area because it just, it, it sets them up to make it a little more difficult for them to, to acclimate. And part of, the, part of the success in starting pups, whether it be stock dogs, you know, we, we used to have a lot of bird dogs growing up, uh, and now guard dogs, is you want to try to set them up to be successful, and then when they're successful, you, you praise them. Uh, or you want them to not be successful for just a second and make sure you're there so you can tell them no. And that's, I'm talking about stock dogs there, but... Anyway, so to turn Indy out with the big herd in this big area and a storm coming where I know they're going to split up, that would be setting her up to be unsuccessful. And so that's why we're holding off on that. We just want to wait a little bit longer and we'll have them in a more controlled area, that small area that we're working on, and it'll really set her up for success. So that's what we're working on. Uh, I've got Blue located over here. It, I couldn't find him yesterday. Uh, but we did find him today, and so I'll pull that collar, and I'll take that back and get the batteries changed, and then I'll try to get down and check on Mary and make sure she's doing okay. But it looks like they've all got back together today, the goats, so that's a good thing. They'll be together for at least a day or two, because when I guess this next one's going to be a big deal. Okay, well, we made it down here, and Mary and Willie were over at the feeder, which Mary's going to guard the feeder, but she seems to be doing okay. Hey, Mary, good girl. Willie, did you make friends yet, buddy? Huh? Friends? Yes? No? Yes? No? Yes? No? <laughs> So the good news is they're still in here. Hello, Betsy. Hello, girl. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, Mary. I wish that they would have been all hanging out together with the other billies right here. Because, you know, you got to make sure that that the dog understands that they're, they're bonded with all goats. Granted, they're going to they're gonna have a natural bond to their goats or whatever you had them with but you need to make sure they're bonded with all of them and you can only do that by observation and by forcing them to be in a small area if you can for just a little bit so that's what we're doing we'll leave them in this little area for a short time probably a week couple of weeks something like that and monitor the situation and make sure everything is uh, working like we want it to and then we'll turn her out into the bigger area just a quick observation sometimes you got a dog that really guards the feeder and that's fine against the goats but it appears that she's maybe getting a little aggressive with uh, Betsy, which surprises me because Betsy is the more mature dog. Mary and Indy both want to guard their food uh, 
in an extreme fashion and so what this is just kind of an observation that you may have to watch if you have a a full-time feeder out a self feeder uh, sometimes it's better to hand feed them every morning if you can do that number one you 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 make sure that they're used to knowing that they're they get fed if they're with the goats and you get to see them and you get to make sure that everybody gets feed uh, Betsy, I don't know that she's gotten any feed or not, but you just got to observe and adjust for that stuff. So we're probably going to have to do that with this feeder down here. I'll continue to monitor it, but I know when we started heading over here towards the feeder, uh, Mary just beat it over here and got in front of it and kind of held Betsy off. So we'll have to make sure Betsy gets feed, and the best way to do that is to hand feed them and then you can split it up a little bit and give them feed at the same time and they'll both be able to eat.